We know about the iPod, iPhone and the iPad. Well, get set for the iBond, where you lend money to Apple, the biggest company in the world. But the bigger question has to be, why does Apple need your cash? Apple is a business giant valued by the US stock market at more than 900 billion Australian dollars. Annual revenue is close to 200 billion. Profit more than 10.7 billion. If it were a country, it'd be the 60th biggest in the world, as big as Ireland. But strange as it seems, the Apple financial juggernaut wants you to lend it money. We would expect the issue size to be um, you know, many hundreds of millions of dollars. For all of its innovation, Apple needs a loan because of its most controversial feature, its tax. This is a very common practice of many US multinational companies. Because of high tax rates in the US, Apple leaves vast pots of cash in low tax environments around the world. If it takes that money home, it pays the tax. Its cash mountain would make Scrooge McDuck Teary $203 billion worth. So to pay dividends to its US shareholders, it borrows the money, more than $47 billion worth. It borrowed $8 billion via overseas I-bonds in May. The tax rate is 35% on the profit, right? so it's, it will be much higher than the interest rate. Details of Apple's first Australian I-bond won't be released until later this week, but Nine News has learnt there's likely to be a four-year bond with a floating rate just over 3%, and also a seven-year bond with a fixed rate of 3 and 3 quarter percent now, you might think these interest rates are low, but that's commensurate with lending your money to one of the largest and most financially secure companies on the planet. Apple is a very high quality investment rate uh, company. It's rated AA plus. Individual investors are looking for these low risk, high quality um, you know, investments. Ross Greenwood, Nine News.